Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today on Tips and Reviews, we're going to take a look at how to export your Google account data using Google Takeout. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you ever wondered about how you would go about exporting or backing up your Google account data to your desktop, or if you were ever faced with having to close a Google account and migrate your data from one account to the new account. Google Takeout Service makes that a pretty simple process. Let's take a look and see how that works. So let's go to google.com slash takeout. On the takeout page, you can see it lists all of the Google services that are available to be exported. Now, this can take a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of files, a lot of mail, a lot of YouTube videos. You can see all the different services here. For the purpose of time and for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose to export my drive folder. So let me select none and then manually turn on Google Drive. You can see some of the services have drop down arrows. Whenever there's a drop down arrow, if you click on it, it expands the services and you can customize your preferences. So for example, I could pick what format I want my documents downloaded in. The defaults work for me, Microsoft Word for the documents, images, the JPEG image for the drawings, etc. But if I wanted my documents to be downloaded in something other than Microsoft Word, I could simply click and see what my options are. But I'm going to leave it set for the default for now. Okay. So once you have selected what you want to back up or export, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the next button. And it confirms your selection, one product selected, and it gives you choices of your file type exports, zip files, TGZ or TBZ. It tells you that there's a two gigabyte uh, maximum file download size. So basically, if it's larger than two gigabytes, it's going to split your file into multiple files. And it will send you an email to notify you when the um, process has been completed. So let's select Create Archive, and the process will begin. Now again, for the purpose of time in this video, I'm going to come back to you once the process has been completed. Okay, we're back, and it seems as if the archive was created successfully. That didn't really take all that long, but remember, I only selected my drive, and in this particular Google account, I don't have that many files. If you think back to that takeout page where all the products were listed, if you selected to export or download everything and you have a lot of photos and a lot of files and a lot of YouTube videos, it will take quite a bit of time to create that archive. Let's take a look at what we have. So, as you can see, it's a really small file, so there's only one to download. YouTube gives you about a week to download this archive, so it's only available for me until February 8th. So let's go ahead and download it and take a look at what we have. Okay, so I need to authenticate. And let's open up the zip file. And there it is. And here's the expanded drive file. And you can see now I have four files. I have two uh, spreadsheets and one PDF and one drawing document. So that's it guys, Google Takeout, a quick and easy way to download your files to your local computer. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content of this nature. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching, see you next time.